Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Hope you're well. I'm um, just going to do a relatively quick one today uh, as I'm trying to catch up on some of my work. But uh, this is a technique that I've been using for quite a while now, and it's adding more of a organic grain, more of a organic feel to an image. And so sometimes in some of my images where they are a bit more um, artistic with regards to not having a lot of detail, like here we've got um, sort of large areas of blank blank space. Um, this is something where I would like to try and add some add some grain in there just to tighten up um, some of the graduated effects that can happen. You're getting some some banding when you get large areas of just blank um, blank tone. So a grain will really help to tighten up those areas and just and, and just give it a bit more. Especially if you're going to print it, will certainly give the printer a bit more to to um, work with. Um, so I know Lightroom's got a fantastic feature for running grain, um, and uh, if I wasn't going to do any retouching to an image, I would definitely use that. But sometimes uh, I'd like to work on an image in Photoshop after it's been in Lightroom, so I don't add grain there. And rather than just exporting it back into Lightroom and adding grain again in there, I'd, sometimes it's just quicker just to add some grain in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go over that today. So first off, um, just want to create. Uh, a new layer, um, new layer, and in here in the mode, I'm just going to select soft light, and then I'm just going to check the box, fill with soft light, 50% grey. That's the thing we're after. So basically, you've added a layer here, but it's not showing up at all on the image. Um, okay, so we're going to do it in two stages. But the first stage, uh, I'm just going to add sort of more of a more of a coarse layer, more of a more of a densely uh, densely covered with grain. Uh, so I'm just going to, on top of that layer, I'm just going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, um, and for this one, this is going to be the coarse one, so I'm going to add, um, let's have a look, uh, so sort of around about 15, something like that, 15, 16, something like that, yeah, leave that in there. Uh, for me personally, uh, I always have it on Gaussian and monochromatic, I know some people don't have the mono checked, obviously for this image, you would do. Um, but yeah, so it's just okay that. So let's just come in here a bit and zoom in and uh, see what we got. So I don't know whether YouTube is going to pick this up, but uh, already on this, you're going to have a lot of grain there, which is just going to be very coarse, very sharp. Um, now that is just ju just the noise straight from the filter. Uh, and as I'm sure you may have noticed on the image, it's it's done with a um, tilt shift lens it is blurry in places and that sort of thing and just adding over this really sharp grain just doesn't really doesn't really go well with the image and it certainly isn't reminiscent of um, analog film or anything like that but that's what some people do they just they just leave it at that they just uh, add that noise and think job done um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snapshot that so we can go back and look at that and see the difference between what what we're gonna do and and that version um, so right, brilliant. We've added the noise. Let's let's just soften that up a little bit. Let's go to filter blur, Gaussian blur. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blur it around about one, something like that. One percent, one one pixel radius. Um, that's right. That's that's the coarse layer done. That's our heavy grain layer done. Okay. So we're going to do it again. So layer, new layer. Um, soft light, fill 50% grey, another layer on top. If we want for ease, we can just do, um, we can just add that on there, just to keep a note of what's going on. And then this one is going to be uh, fine. Brilliant, okay, cool. So now we're going to go in again and add some noise onto that fine layer. Okay. Um, Five percent on this one. So normally I have it quite a bit lower because this is going to be our, our fine layer. So it's not going to be anywhere near as heavy as the as the other one. So the grain is going to be a lot a lot smaller. Um, again, Gaussian monochromatic. That's fine. Uh, so that now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to blur that again. Okay. Let's see. I want it to be too sharp again, blur. But because this is the fine layer, we've made that grain very small, I'm gonna blur it a lot less. So 
probably looking at around um, just a very small amount. 0.3 is a minute, that'd be fine. Um, now, some people prefer, uh, like like the idea of a slightly more contrasty grain, so you can you can do that by changing these from soft light to to overlay. Um, that will give that give more sort of contrast in there. In entirely up to you, but um, that gives us more of an organic feeling. The other way to just a just a quick tip after after doing that is to actually make it not so digitized if you see what I'm saying so if we just click on these layers I'm just going to go to edit transform um, scale okay so we just got our bounding boxes here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to distort these I'm not I'm not this is totally free transform but I'm just trying to give the grain more of a non non linear look if you like so just by doing this it will it will help to I'm just going to enter that and do the same on the other one by doing this it will help to give it more of a analog feeling as well uh, let's have a look I could have gone into free transform there as well but let's let's drag these out again And okay, that perfect. All right then. So obviously, as well, just finally, you can reduce the opacity of these um, if you if you need less or something like that. Normally, the coarse layer for me I find is a bit too heavy, so I probably normally bring that round to about 50, 75, and I leave the the, um, the fine layer at 100. Okay. Um, so let's just take a snapshot of that. Uh, so yeah, so this is the original one. This is what. I've seen a lot of people do, they just go in, filter, add noise, I think job done, but can be, obviously, yeah. as you can see, it's just, it doesn't really time with the image. And then this is, this is our newer version with a, with a far, far more analog feeling with the grain. Okay. Um, it really, really helps to bed into the image. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. By all means, you can check out some more techniques uh, on my website, jkicks photography.com um, or you can check out my Facebook page. Hope you all have a good week. Thanks very much. Bye.